Hi, welcome children. Today, I am going to explain about the unit 1 of the grade 6. Unit 1 of the grade 6. Right. What is the unit 1 of the grade 6? The unit 1 of the grade 6 is wonders of the living world. Wonders of the living world. Right. Today, our main topic is wonders of the living world. Right. Ayubhavanduyabute. Adamama Katakiri Mata Balapuru Twene High Strani Palavini Padama Vidyava Wonders of the Living World. The Balam Mukatame Padame Matrukavi Terum Kia. Mukatame Wonders Kilakia. Wonders Kilakiani Assyria. Wonders Kilakian Assyria. Wonders of the Living World. Mukatame Living World. Living World Kilakiani Chaiva Lokaya. The Buddha of the Living World Kilakiani Chaiva Lokaya. Wonders of the Living World Kilakiani Chaiva Lokaye Assyria. Wonders of the Living World. Right today, we are going to learn about the Wonders of the Living World. Wonders of the Living World. Right under this topic, firstly, we have to learn about the environment. Firstly, we have to learn about the environment. So, what is the environment? What is the environment? Right. Let's go to learn about what is the environment. Environment, right? The environments mean our surrounding. Environments mean our surrounding, including us. Our surrounding, including us, is known as environment. Environment mean our surrounding, including us, is known as environment, right? Our Mukad our again. Ape surroundings surrounding can put a water pita. Our surrounding ape water pita. Including us, including Kelakiani atulu. Including us Kelakiani upper. Including us Kelakiani upper atulu ape wata pita. Parisare Kelakian Natang environment Kelakian Mukadina. Our surrounding including us is known as environment is known as environment right now we have learned about what is mean by environment environment mean our surrounding including us is known as environment our surrounding including us is known as environment right then we will go to learn about some picture relevant to the different environments different environments now you can see this picture there are four pictures right and also now when we consider about the different types of the environment right the components of the different types of the environments are different may rupa magin rupa hatarakti enama parisara varga hatarakti enama May Varga Hatharatina Antaragata Deval Belut Puti Ekinekata Venas Ekinekata Venas Vivida Parisaravala Adangwena Deval Vivita Different environment contain different things. Right. Then we will go to learn about component of the environment. Component. What is the component? Mukadabuti me component kilakyan. Component kilakyan me. Antar Gata Deval Components Kirakiani Antar Gata Deval Components of the Environment Parisare Antar Gata Deval Components of the Environment. Right now we are going to learn about the components of the environment. So let's go to learn about components of the environment. Right. They are they are. Two components Antargata Deval Dekatiana of the environments. Now, when we consider about the components of the environment, components of the environments mainly there are two types. If not, there are two components of the environment. There are two components of the environments. What are they? Can you tell? Right, let's go to learn about what are the two components of the environment. The first one is living things. 
the one of the components of the environment is living things now you can tell the another one what is the another one right another one is non living things non living things right now under the components of the environment we have learnt about first we have learnt about there are two components of the environment there are two components of the environment right after that we have learnt about what are the, these two components of the environments no first we have learnt about living things and then we have learnt about non living things living things and non living things are the components of the environment right then we will go to learn about growth growth kela kiyanne vardhane me vardhane kiyana ekapi bhavita karanne puthe living things ha non living things kohomada wen karanne e wen karanna bhavita karanna sadakiyak thamai me growth kela kiyanne vardhane thawa bhavita karanna puluwan dewal thiyenawa namuth api vardhane kiyana ek bhavita karala living things kiyanne monawada non living things kiyanne monawada kiyala pata වෙන්කර ගන්න පුළුවන් right අපි යමු එහෙනම් ඉස්සලම කතා කරන්න මොකද්ද මේ growth කියන්නේ කියලා growth the increase in size height or amount is called growth the increase වැඩි වෙනවා in size ප්‍රමාණයෙන් වැඩි වීම height උසින් වැඩි වීම amount සංඛ්‍යාවෙන් වැඩි වීම is called හඳුන්වනවා growth කියලා වර්ධනය කියලා එන වර්ධනය කියලා හඳුන්වන්නේ ප්‍රමාණයෙන් උසින් සහ සංඛ්‍යාවෙන් වැඩි වීමට තමයි අපි හඳුන්වන්නේ ග්‍රෝත් කියලා වර්ධනය කියලා right now we have learnt about what is mean by growth growth means the increase in size height or amount is called growth the increase in size height or amount is called growth now we have learnt about what is mean by growth right by using the meaning of the growth now we can divide it living things and non living things living things and non living things right let's go to learn about what is the living things living things mean the components the components antargata deva with a growth with a growth ken vardhanayak ati antargata deva are called living things or living organism living things all living organism the living things mean the components with a growth are called living things or living organism right then we will go to learn what are the examples for the living things what are the examples for the living things the first one is plant plant shows the growth so a plant belongs to the living thing animals animals also show the growth so animals belongs to the living things the next one is microorganism 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 also represent the if not shows the growth therefore microorganism also belongs to the living things right under this topic firstly we have learned about what is mean by living things the living things mean the components with a growth are called living things or living organism living things or living organism after that we have learned about some examples for the living things or living organism the one of them is plant animals and microorganism are the examples for the living things right then we will go to learn about what is the non living things what is the non living things non living things mean the components without a growth are called non living things the components without a growth the components without a growth are called non living things non living things right then we will go to learn about what are the examples for the non living things the first one is stone is stone do not show the growth therefore a stone belongs to the non living things next one cloth cloth also do not show the growth therefore cloth also belongs to the non living things next one papers papers also do not show the growth 
therefore vapors also belongs to the non living things buildings also do not show the growth therefore building also belongs to the non living things vehicles also do not show the growth therefore vehicles also belongs to the non living things right now we have learned about what is mean by non living things what is the non living things non living things mean the components without a growth are called non living things the examples for the non living things are stone clothes papers buildings and vehicles are the non living things right then we will go to learn about some plants right this picture represents some plants coconut jack bamboo and papaya those are the some plants among the plants world right those plants shows the growth therefore it is belongs to the living things living things right this picture represents some animals these animals also show the growth therefore it is also belongs to the living things right let's go to learn about microorganism microorganism right what is the microorganism the microorganism mean the organism organism gv that cannot be observed cannot be cannot be can bury venam cannot be observed nirikshane karanna bury vena gv with the naked i naked i can put a pvs pvs in nirikshane karanna bury vena gv are called handun venawa microorganism ke right microorganism ke ane mokad dena the organism that cannot be observed with the naked eye are called microorganism the organism that cannot be observed with the naked eye are called microorganism right next one the large number of microorganism can be seen in water soil air and in rotten foods a large number of microorganism sudra jeevin vishala sankhya can be seen dakinna puluwang wenawa in water jalaya tula soil pasa tula air vaate tula and in rotten food mukadda me rotten food kiyala kiyanne narakku aahara tula vishala sudra jeevin sankhyawak dakinna puluwang right now we have learned about the microorganism the microorganism mean the organisms that cannot be observed with the naked eye are called microorganism and then we have learned about a large number of microorganisms can be seen in water soil air and in rotten food right some microorganism in a drop of water this picture represents some microorganism these microorganism can be seen in the drop of water drop of water right right then we will go to learn about the an instrument that can be used to observe the microorganism me sudra jeevi nirikshane karanna api bhavita karana upakarane gena katha karanna yanne what is that instrument that instrument is compound microscope compound microscope compound microscope can be used to observe the microorganism in the laboratory the compound microscope is used compound microscope ek bhavita karana to observe nirikshaneta things deval nirikshane karan that cannot be seen with the naked eye e kiyana mokad kuthi pvs in nirikshane karanna bari wena deval nirikshane karanna mena me compound microscope ek bhavita karana the compound microscope is used to observe things that cannot be seen with the naked eye cannot be seen with the naked eye right this is the picture of the compound microscope me thiyenne compound microscope ekka roopayak thamai thiyenne me meka thamai baavitha karanne ape pvi hata peyena nathi ithama kuda jeevin pariksha karanna api menna me instrument ekka baavitha karana then we will go to learn about characteristics of organism characteristics of the organism characteristics kela kiyanne lakshana of organism kiyanne jeevin ke 
characteristics of organism jeev in gel akshar right let's go to learn about characteristics of organism right under this topic firstly we have to learn about the characteristics of organism are the first one is growth nutrition movement respiration and reproduction growth nutrition movement respiration and reproduction are the characteristics of the organism these characteristics are helps to differentiate the living things from the non living things living things from the non living things the living things shows these characteristics non living things do not show the these characteristics right now we have learnt about the characteristics of organism the characteristics of organism are growth nutrition movement respiration and reproduction right let's go to learn about the first characteristics of the organism is growth in previously also we have learnt about what is the growth in that times growth is learned learned <coughs> to separate the living things from the non living things right growth means the increase in size height or amount is called growth the increase in size height or amount is called growth and then we have to learn about growth is a common feature of organism growth is a common feature of organism it is not a common feature of the non living things non living things growth can be seen only in the living things only in the living things there is no growth in non living things there is no growth in non living things right under the growth firstly we have learned about the increase in size height or amount is called growth and then we have learned about growth is a common feature of organism if not living organism finally we have learned about there is no growth in non living things there is no growth in non living things right germination and growth of a seeds this picture represent the germination and growth right this steps is the germination after that after the germinate plants is growth right germination and seed uh, sorry growth of a seed can be seen by this picture right this picture also represent growth of the animals this one growth of the plants this is the growth this is the growth right then we will go to learn about our next characteristics of the organism right under the characteristics of the organism firstly we have learned about the growth and then we are going to learn about the nutrition right what is the nutrition right nutrition mean satisfying the food requirements of organism nutrition mean satisfying the food requirements of organism is called nutrition right nutrition mean satisfying the food requirements of organism is called nutrition now we have learned about what is mean by nutrition no? nutrition mean satisfying the food requirements of organisms is called nutrition right next one according to nutrition organism there are two types according to nutrition organism there are two types right what are they the first one is autotrophic organism the second one is heterotrophic organism heterotrophic organism right under the nutrition firstly we have learned about what is mean by nutrition no nutrition mean satisfying the food requirements of organism is called nutrition and then we have learned about according to nutrition organisms there are two types one of them is autotrophic the second one is heterotrophic autotrophics and heterotrophic right then we will go to learn about autotrophic what is the autotrophic autotrophic means organism organism 
that can be produced organism that can be produced their own food are known as autotrophic organism that can be produced their own foods are known as autotrophic autotrophic organism that can be produced their own foods are known as autotrophic right then we will go to what are the examples for the autotrophic organism plants algae can produce their own foods they won't not get produced from the others so if some organism can be produced their own foods such organism are known as autotrophic organism plants and algae are belongs to the autotrophic organism due to they can produce their own foods right next one autotrophic organism produce food by photosynthesis right the process of producing food in the autotrophic organism is photosynthesis photosynthesis right now we have learned about what is mean by autotrophic organism autotrophic organism mean organisms that can be produced their own food are known as autotrophic right what are the examples for the autotrophic organism plants and algae plants and algae right and then we have learned about autotrophic organisms produced food by photosynthesis autotrophic organisms produced food by photosynthesis right this is the uh, this plant is belongs to autotrophic organism not a animal animal is a heterotrophic organism right this picture also contain this animal belongs to the heterotrophic organism plants belongs to the autotrophic organism here also plants belongs to the autotrophic organism animal belongs to the heterotrophic organism right this one also contain plants and animals plant belongs to the autotrophic animal belongs to the heterotrophic right then we will go to learn about what is the heterotrophic what is the heterotrophic heterotrophic means organisms that cannot be produced their own food are known as heterotrophic organisms that cannot be produced their own food are known as autotrophic organism what are the examples for the autotrophic organism animals animals belongs to the autotrophic organism why is that animals cannot be produced their own food therefore animals belongs to the heterotrophic organism animals belongs to the heterotrophic organism right next one heterotrophic organism depend on plant produce food directly or indirectly heterotrophic organism cannot be produce their own foods so they can take the food they can take the food from the plant produced food plant produced foods some animals directly depend on plant produced food while some animals indirectly depend on the plant produced food indirectly depend on the plant produced food right now we have learned about heterotrophic means organisms that cannot be produced their own food are known as heterotrophic organism examples for the heterotrophic organism is animals and then finally we have learned about heterotrophic organism depend on plant produce food directly or indirectly directly or indirectly shaka nipadu aahara mata rituoma ho vakrava yapenawa kawuda menne me heterotrophic organism la right next one this is the examples for the heterotrophic organism this animal indirectly depend on the plant produce food right here also this animal indirectly depend on the plant produced food right following animals directly depend on plant produced food following animals directly depend on plant produced food deer cow elephant and ferret are the animals that directly depend on the plant produced food right next one following animals indirectly depend on plant produced foods what are they lion tigers leopard are the animals indirectly depend on the plant produced 
food right let's go to learn about photosynthesis 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 is the way of producing food in autotrophic organism right photosynthesis mean the use carbon dioxide from air soil water and sunlight to produce food if not the process of producing food in green plants the process of producing food in green plant is known as photosynthesis this process is called photosynthesis right photosynthesis in the photosynthesis water taken from the soil carbon dioxide taken from the uh, atmosphere sunlight taken from the sun the and then photosynthesis process is occur and then produce food and oxygen produce oxygen is again removed to the if not add to the atmosphere like that photosynthesis mainly occur through the leaves of the plant leaves of the plant the gases needed for the photosynthesis is carbon dioxide right the needed things for the photosynthesis are carbon dioxide water sunlight and the chlorophyll are the factors that needed for the photosynthesis then we will go to learn about the movements movement movement is also a common feature for the living organism right movement means sowing different movements is common feature of living organism sowing different movements is a common feature of living organism right next one animals moving from one place to another place is called locomotion the movements mean uh, all the animals saw the different movements right but now when we consider about the animals animals able to move from one place to another place animals can move from one place to another place right that process is known as locomotion animals moving from one place to another place is called locomotion there are special appendages for animals for locomotion there are special appendages vishesha upanga tiyana for animals satun sandha for locomotion sancharane sandha right there are different methods of locomotion not only different appendages but also different methods are there for the locomotion there are different methods of locomotion right that methods are walking creeping swimming flying and running are the different methods of the locomotion different methods of the locomotion right under the movements firstly we have learnt about sowing different movement is a common feature of living organism and then we have learnt about animals moving from one place to another place is called locomotion there are special appendages for animals for locomotion there are different methods of locomotion what are they walking creeping swimming flying and running are the different methods of the locomotion right these are the different methods of the locomotion swimming creeping running right and also flying walking are the different methods of the locomotion right then there are some animals there are some animals that cannot move there are some animals that cannot move but they saw different movements there are some animals that cannot move but they saw different movements right one of the animal is sea animal the another one is coral polyps sea animal and coral polyps are the animals that saw different movements but do, do not saw the locomotion do not saw the locomotion there are some animals that cannot move but they saw different movements sea animals and coral polyps this is the picture of the sea animals this is the picture of the coral polyps right then we will go to learn about movements of plant movements of the plant right some plants saw sleeping movements when touch some plants some harshak saw spin mana sleeping movement hakili me chalana when touch ස්පර්ශ කරනකොට මම අද ගන්න පුළුවන් එක්සැම්පල් එක. mimosa mimosa කියලා කියන්නේ පුතේ නිති කුම්බා. මෙන්න මේ නිති කුම්බ ශාකයේ ස්පර්ශ කරනකොට මොකද්ද වෙන්නේ පුතේ හැකිලීමක් පෙන්නනවා. 
ඒක ශාකවල පෙන් දක්වන එක චලනයක් some plants saws a sleeping moments when touch right next one some plants live so sleeping moments in the evening some plants samara shaka live samara shaka patra so penwana sleeping moments akili me chalana in the evening havas kale di monoda ganna puluwan example tamarind albicia sesbinia those are the plants that saw the sleeping moments in the evening evening right next one so plant bent towards the sunlight සමහර ශාක තියෙනවා මෙන්න මේ විදිහට හිරු වෙලිය දෙසට වර්ධනය වෙනවා ඒකත් ශාක පෙන්වන චලනයක් right then we will go to learn about the respiration respiration what is the respiration the process of producing energy process කියලා කියන්නේ ක්‍රියාවලිය process of producing energy ශක්තිය නිපද වීමේ ක්‍රියාවලිය in living organism in living organism ජීවීන් තුල ශක්තිය නිපද වීමේ ක්‍රියාවලිය is known as respiration ඒක හඳුන්වනවා respiration කියලා මොකද්ද එහෙනම් respiration කියන්නේ ශ්වසනය ශ්වසනය කියලා කියන්නේ මොකද්ද එහෙනම් the process of producing energy in living organism is known as respiration respiration oxygen needed to breathe is taken in by inhaling while the produce carbon dioxide is released by exhaling right now when we consider about the respiration the gases needed for the respiration is oxygen the gases produced during the respiration is carbon dioxide right and also the process of taking air if not oxygen into body is known as inhaling the removing produce carbon dioxide from the body is known as exhaling the chest moves up and down because of the process of inhaling and exhaling especially now when we consider about the animals the chest moves up and down chest moves up and down because of the process of inhaling and exhaling because of the process of inhaling and exhaling these movements are called respiratory movements such a movements are known as respiratory movements plants to breathe plants to breathe but they do not show respiratory movements as animal plants to breathe but they do not show respiratory movement as animals respiration is a common feature of every organism every organism and also there is no respiration in non living things there is no respiration in non living things right those things we have learnt under the respiration right then we will go to discuss some activities find out whether exhaled air contain carbon dioxide gas for this we have to take the colorless lime water firstly we have to take some amount of colorless lime water into the test tube or beaker and then we can blow by using a straw after some times can be observed this colorless lime water turns into milkiness the colorless lime water turns into milkiness due to carbon dioxide carbon dioxide therefore the conclusion of this experiment is exhaled air contain carbon dioxide exhaled air contain carbon dioxide me parikshane karanna puthi parikshana nalayakata awarna honudire tikak karagena bima batayak aadaren vayu bubulane karana etakota me awarna honudire tika welawak yanakota apata nirikshane karanna puluwang milki netta api kiyana kiri paata ta harena mena me awarna honudire kiri paata ta harenne puthi carbon dioxide vayu hamu ඒක නිසා මෙන්න මේ ඇක්ටිවිටි එකෙන් අපිට නිගමනයකට එන්න පුළුවන් ප්‍රාශ්වාස වාතය නැත්නම් එක්සෙල් එයා වල කාබන් ඩයොක්සයිඩ් අඩංගු වෙනවා කියලා. එහෙනම් හොඳට අවබෝධ කරගන්න ඔයාලා නිතරම ප්‍රශ්න අහන දෙයක් තමයි what are the what is the chemical that can be used to identify the carbon dioxide? carbon dioxide හඳුනා ගන්න භාවිත කරන්න පුළුවන් chemical එක මොකක්ද? මොකක්ද chemical එක? ඔව් colorless lime water. colorless lime water.
right then we will go to learn about our next characteristics of the organism reproduction reproduction progenonea right let's go to learn about what is the reproduction a matured living being parinatha jeevi produce new members nipadavanawa alu samajikyo of the same species ekama visheshe samalu samajikyo nipadavanawa parinatha jeevi a process ekata api kiyana mokadda kiyanne puthe reproduction the reproduction mean a matured living being producing new members of the same species is known as reproduction a matured living being producing new members of the same species is known as reproduction reproduction right this pictures represent the reproduction of plants and reproduction of animals right then we will go to learn about differences between animals and plants differences between animals and plants right under this topic first we have to learn about diversity of plant diversity of plant right under the diversity of plants plants can be divided into different methods first we will learn about diversity among plants based on nature diversity among plants based on nature right according to the nature plants can be divided into four groups plants <coughs> shrubs trees and creepers plants shrubs trees and creepers are the types of the plants according to the nature according to the nature right then we will go to learn about diversity among plants based on morphological features according to the morphological features one plants differ from the another plants by roots stems leaves flowers seeds fruits are the morphological features of the plants that differentiate the one plants from the another plants right next one diversity among plants based on living environment according to the living environment also plants can be divided if not differ right terrestrial plants aquatic plants mangrove plants and coastal plant are the different types of the plants that differentiate according to the living environment according to the living environment right then we will go to learn about diversity of animals now we have learned about diversity of plants now we are going to learn about the diversity of animals right diversity of animals based on living environment according to the living environments animals can be divided into terrestrial animals aquatic animals and air animals terrestrial animals mean animals in the land aquatic animals in animals in the water air animals mean animals in the air right those are the types of the animals that can be <coughs> differ according to the living environment right next one diversity among animal based on the feeding mechanism according to the feeding mechanism animals can be divided into chew and swallow animals and then swallow without chewing animals chew animals and shark animals are the types of the animals according to the feeding mechanism right next one diversity among animals based on the types of food according to the types of the food animals can be divided into carnivorous omnivorous and herbivorous carnivorous mean animals that depend only animal materials omnivorous means animals that depend both plants and animal materials herbivorous mean animals that depend only plant materials right then we will go to our next topic diversity among animals based on external characteristics according to the external characteristics animals can be divided what are the external characteristics color shape and the appendages according to the these external characteristics animals are differ right next one 
diversity among animals based on the mode of locomotion. According to the locomotion method, animals are different. Walking animals, swimming animals, flying animals and creeping animals. Right, next one. Differences between plants and animals. Now we have learned about diversity among plants and animals and then now we are going to learn about differences between plants and animals. What are the differences? So growth in animals visibly is tough after the certain period of time. Now when we consider about the growth of animals is limited. Limited. In this stage animals are growth but it is not a growth still. If it means growth of the animals is limited but now when we consider about the growth of the plant it is unlimited. A plant is growth in their lifetime. Lifetime. Right. Then we will go to learn about what is the dichotomous key. Dichotomous key. Dichotomous key is used to classify the animals. The dichotomous key means categorization of organism using the presence or absence of a characteristic feature is known as a dichotomous key. Dichotomous key means categorization of organism. Categorization of organism using the presence or absence of a characteristic feature. Characteristic feature is known as a dichotomous key. Right. This is the some examples for the dichotomous key. Methiene dichotomous key ekka Odi dala satahana. Methiene chaka patratika me vidyata veng karlatiyana. Leaves with leaflets, leaves without leaflets. Meva nevata nevata me vidyata bedagani anun api animals lage dichotomous key kak balum. Ferret, earthworm, dog, centipede, deer and crow. Me kattiya pradhana kotas dhekata bedano me alage characteristic features barali vire vire. With four legs, without four legs. Again, Kapul Hatrak, Etikati, Kapul Hatrak, Netikati. To Kapul Hatrak, Etikati, Gatto, Metrami Pahalin, Lian, no Niala, Kapul Hatrak, Tinikat. Dog deer, Mayala, Kapul Hatrak, Tianama. Ferret, earthworm, centipedes, crow, Mayala, Kapul Hatrak, Kati. Ne. Make a tea never the bed unknown. Dog and deer. Mukakar Lakshana Padanam Kara. May then a sons on the Negro take Kenakuta Antiano and it take another unhe. Nanganna pulvang with antlers, without antlers. To with antlers, unethi, anti and a deer. Without antlers, unethi, unethi card the dog. I think you had to make up a tie with an be. I think you had to make up a bed and a bed and a bit in no satu hatterdi. Make a bed and a bar with agarama. With winds, without winds. We had to the anama crow and ferret. Without winds, earthworm and centipedes. May then not never the bed and no. Got the bar with agar. With a curved beak, Vakra Hotak Kati, without a curved beak, Vakra Hotak Nati, Vakra Hotak Tien of Ferret, Vakra Hotak Nak Road. Earthworm and centipede with bed unknown, with legs and without legs. With legs when our centipedes, without legs when our earthworm. Men may be the other Yamkisi Bahira Lakshanya, Shakabaloho Satungi, Pavatima Ho, no Pavatima Padram Karagana, Oe with the other decan decata bedagan, bedagani, and ekata begin of the Makadiani. Dichotomous key care. Right, may sampam sampurna high strain here palavini padma tadala sampurna padma or maybe do a kim pahadikarlatino. Right. Apihina, other navatamu, ilanga padangoling, 